going to win on this wicked Wednesday it's cold outside like it feels good but in a way you know like when the wind blows it's cold anyways so what's going on okay so I'm chilling today and I just feel like putting on some makeup and just talking to the camera so that's what I'm gonna do yeah this part <laughs> that part though but anyways I don't want this video to be like a million minutes long oh, why is the camera leaning okay I don't want it to look like I don't have clothes on though like is that cool like right there I guess that's fine let me put some lip gloss on because honey these lips or not what that is anyways so let me tell y'all what's been going on lately with me i'm gonna put up my um photo shoot video like i'm gonna get that together and, like edit it and put it all together i just been like tired i guess i don't even know but let me tell y'all how that went I'll catch y'all up on the mother and tea because honey right so i had a photo shoot on sunday and it went well you know um the photo shoot is a nitty gritty because i feel like i'm talking too much so i get to the photo shoot or whatever and um my first piece was uh, just a t-shirt a sweatshirt and some panties which was for the comic book and i did that felt comfortable you know whatever so i ended up having to switch outfits which was for the hopeless romantic into a um into a pajama top and panties with no bra right now if i'm at home and i've never shot with him like i've never done a photo shoot with him before ever so it's like if i'm at home and i'm taking my own pictures or if my friend was here taking the pictures for me i would be perfectly fine you know what i'm saying but by him being I know him enough to know the kind of person he is and he doesn't mean any harm or anything but he just made me feel really uncomfortable so um I'm really like scared to like put this up because I don't know who all watches my YouTube channel and I hope that he doesn't follow this page I mean follow my YouTube channel because I might jeopardize free photo shoots. <laughs> like my cousin said, everything free ain't good. And I don't like feeling like since you doing me a favor, I gotta give you something in return. I don't like feeling like that. So, anyways, let me just <laughs> get to the point. So, um, one of the photo shoots I said, like I said, I had to wear a pajama top and some panties. And so, like, all the other girls, my, this is super weird, but anyways, as you can see, I'm not blessed with, like, <laughs> beautiful knockers, like porn star knockers or whatever. And the other girls were, you know what I'm saying? So, my boobs, I had to like do a little extra to make my boobs look perky. So, he came over, like one of the shoots was like, one of the shots was like, I had to be like, I had to push him up like this. You see how they look stuffed, like plump? I had to push them up like this and like, like let me see if I can, it was like, I can't even, it like this just imagine this not being here 
and it pushed up like this you know what i'm saying so he was like you know what like do you mind if i adjust because the, sh the shot's not coming out the way i wanted to are you kidding me are you are you serious so he was like how much of a hang is there do you know i'm already insecure by my boobs as it is you bitch <laughs> let me not go the fuck off okay how much of a drop do you have and i was like it's a major drop like <laughs> sir but anyways so he was like do you mind if i adjust it for you i was like no like i don't but i did mind but i was just like you know what i want to be a model and this is sometimes things that come with it you know you gotta let them touch you let the photographer touch you or whatever but he ended up telling me the night before he was like well my assistant will be there you know to help coordinate this down the third and i was like you know what i'm cool with that like i'm not gonna be the only girl there i'm cool with that i'm fine you know but she was not in there so um he comes over and he adjust like i'm like he's like move it up a little move it up he was like okay here let me try let me do it let me see if i can make it work how fucking plump do you want my tits to be oops use my language how plump do you <laughs> sir <laughs> so i hope he never sees this because i'm gonna be so embarrassed but he comes over and mind you my hands are like this and he comes over and he like wag my hands like that and so i had it like this and he moves it out he's like hold on let me see how much of a, of a drop there is are you fucking kidding me <laughs> so i'm just like okay so i'm out with my tits out my nipples <laughs> looking like <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? And I really want to punch this man right now. You know what I'm saying? So, he he grabs my hands and he puts them. He's like, hold it like this. So, I'm holding it. And I literally, all, I have it like this just covering the nipple. So, it's not like this no more. It's not pushed up like this no more. My hands are open like this. And I just literally got my hands pushed up, pressed against my chest, pushed up, and just covering the nipple. Now, I can't wait till these pictures air. They're supposed to air tomorrow because tomorrow's Valentine's Day. Like, y'all gonna see if you follow me on Instagram because that's the only social media that I have. Y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna be like, ooh, Brittany, you look cute. But did I feel cute at that fucking moment? No, I felt... I don't know what I felt. I don't want to, like, do, like, false accusations or anything because it wasn't that serious. And it's, like, me knowing that that comes with the modeling business, you know? Am I being dramatic? Like, I don't, I don't think I am being dramatic. It's just... I don't fucking know. I don't know. And I ended up calling my friend Lonnie and I was like, like, I talked to him to calm me down because I was like, I had been drinking. I had some wine and we all, we all was drinking, you know, but then I was just like, I just want to sober up because I felt like I was starting to overthink. And then he was like, and then when we finished my part of the shoot, he was like, don't ever be insecure. You look great. You have a nice body. You this, you that. And I was just like, okay, thank you. Like, I already fucking know that shit, but thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, y'all. I feel like I am being a little dramatic, but at the same time, if y'all was there to experience, then you wouldn't think that I was being all really dramatic, you know? But, I don't know. He has, like, his work is really good, but, like, all of his, all of his, um... All of his photography photography involves nudity. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, when the pictures come out, and if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to tag him in the photos. You know? And I want y'all to go look at his pictures. So you can see what the fuck I'm talking about. Because as I was getting to know him, he has an obsession. And he admitted it. He has an obsession with the anatomy of, of a woman's body. 
So it's like, you're studying us and shit, which is what a man's supposed to do, is study women, you know, or his girl or whatever the situation is. Like, but it was like, he was talking about it sexually, like, he was like, I study the G-spot and this shit like this. Like, we cool, but we not that cool. And he was like, I know it was always a reason that I met you. Look, sir, because back last year, maybe I want to say in November or October going into November, I ended up DMing him because I was like, yo, his he has really good pictures. Like, he's a good photographer. He's like, traveled to California and Arizona and things like that. And it's just like, okay, wow, like... You got some good, you know, your quality is good. So I ended up DMing him and I was like, you know, how much would you charge to uh, do some photo shoots with me? And he was like, I'm going to charge you anything, you know, I'm trying to get better and get out there and things like that. And I was like, you know what, if, well, if you ever need a model and I'm here, you know what I'm saying? So that's how we started like talking as business wise, not personal. And it was like, he was trying to make it personal. And he would call around December, he would call a whole lot. And he he felt like I was interested. And I was like, no, I'm not interested, you know, like that. Like, it's like he really opened up to me. And I didn't expect that to happen, like, that man opened up to me. He's older than me as well. And he just opened up to me about shit that was going on and he was like if you ever need someone to talk to then i'm here and i was just like okay we like the same shit you know what i'm saying we like the same stuff and like you know sometimes you meet people for a reason you know there's always a purpose on the reason why you meet someone so i was like you know like i think you'll be a cool friend not the way that nigga made me feel at that damn photo shoot Everybody ain't always good people, so I know I'm not saying I don't want to just make it seem like he's just this bad person because he's not. Like, he's cool, he's super cool, but he's he's really funny. But it's just just the way he made me feel. That shit just wasn't right. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna work with him again. You know, like yeah, this is some bomb ass mascara. This shit's called Access, so if I have any woman viewers watching this, let me... I really am. This is so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. Did my story make sense? Did it? Did it make sense? I don't know, but... Yeah, I'm gonna put the... I'm gonna put the, um... The... You know, I don't have to put on tremendous amount of makeup to get a difference like this. You know what I'm saying? Like... I can put on a little bit of makeup and still look natural and look okay. Like, I can walk outside and look like this, you know? But, yeah. I hope you guys have a good day. And I'm going to do my makeup. <laughs> I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera. But I hope you guys have a blessed day, a blessed rest of the week, you know? And if you have a Valentine's, happy Valentine's. I mean, if you don't have a Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day. I'm gonna edit that out, but anyways, peace and love, prosperity, what else, I don't know, just peace and love and prosperity, be kind to someone today, speak to someone, say hi to them, you never know if you'll make their day or not, so, I'm gonna, I'm talking too much, but yeah, peace and love and be blessed.